Right here? Okay. All right, just need to adjust Mr. Michael phone. Welcome back, friends. It's Anders. Today, we are having a golden Cadillac. This is a dessert cocktail. It is rich and decadent and perfect for the holiday season. In fact, I associate this drink with the holidays. We are going to make this drink twice. We are going to be making it in kind of the classic form that most people know this drink to be. And then the other one is Wisconsin's take on the Golden Cadillac, which is a milkshake. In Wisconsin, we turn everything into milkshakes. So we're going to do that. We're gonna have them side by side. They're both gonna be wonderful. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes. And let's go make the Golden Cadillac to the bar. Today's video is sponsored by Visky. Visky makes quality barware, glassware, wine tools, you name it. Everything you need behind your bar, Visky's got it. And they consult with professional bartenders. So not only are they stylish, they are functional. Freya and I are here to remind you that it's the gift giving season. And if you're like me, you're gonna wait until the last minute. But I'm here to tell you that the last minute is now. You have to take into account shipping and you have to wrap your gifts. What are you gonna get? Well, let me show you a few things. So we've got right here is the four piece mixology barware set in gunmetal. This is nice, sturdy. Freya, we're on camera, let's stick with the face. She's a sucker for kibble. What else? Let's talk about something Freya's interested in, ice. Freya loves chewing on ice. I like mixing with ice. Well, good thing Visky has a clear ice maker. This is what it looks like. It uses directional freezing to give you nice, hard, clear ice cubes. Now let's focus on my favorite stuff. I am a fan of glassware. This is the angled Nick and Nora glass. Very versatile. And in a few moments, we are gonna use it for today's cocktail. I also love these stackable bow lowball tumblers. How cool are these? But there are a number of kinds. So if you like a really small glass, specifically made for mezcal, there's a glass for that. Or if you like a really big glass, specifically made for spritzes, there's a glass for that too. And they're all 15% off if you use code Anders15 at checkout. Use the link down below again. That code is Anders15 to get 15% off site-wide. Uh, what else? What else do we want to talk about, Freya? Good idea. Happy holidays, everyone. From me and Freya, thank you, Visky. On to the film. All right, so the Golden Cadillac story time here. This is... Uh, the story of the Golden Cadillac. If you look up the history of this drink, they pretty much all tell you the same story, which means it could be the honest truth, although it does kind of sound a little urban legend-ish to me, but I like it. It dates back to 1952, to El Dorado, California, specifically a restaurant called Poor Red's Restaurant. And there, in 1952, there was a bartender by the name of Frank Klein. He was mixing up drinks and in walks a newly engaged couple who asked for a specialty drink. Frank whipped up equal parts cream, galliano, and creme de cacao. He made this drink and it had a light yellow color. Either he named it or he had the guests name it. Anyway, it got named after their new golden Cadillac that was sitting in the parking lot. So that's how you get the golden Cadillac. Where this gets interesting, is soon thereafter, that drink became the signature cocktail of Poor Red's restaurant. And at that restaurant, they started selling more Galliano than anywhere else in the world. And this caught the attention of Galliano. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. Galliano is an Italian herbal liqueur that kind of tastes like vanilla and mint and cinnamon and kind of a licorice anise flavor. People weren't drinking a whole lot of it at that time. Galliano discovered that in Northern California, they were selling so much of this stuff, so they learned about the Golden Cadillac, and throughout the 60s and 70s, Galliano used it in print advertising. This is how you make a Golden Cadillac, although they altered the recipe a little bit. Whatever the case may be, the cocktail became famous around the world. Galliano actually became very popular in the 60s and 70s. That's where we see drinks like the Harvey Wallbanger, but the Golden Cadillac was there before the rest of them. Then, well, then at some point, somebody, I'm guessing in Wisconsin, decided to make this with ice cream and turn it into a milkshake, just like they did with the Brandy Alexander and the um, Grasshopper. We could do a whole milkshake episode. So, without further ado, the booze. Get your shopping done yet? Still buying gifts? Slackers. Okay, so we are gonna make this twice. We're gonna start with the classic recipe. I'm going to shake this up, take a sip, and then move on to the next. For the classic Golden Cadillac, we are gonna need Galliano, 
creme de cacao, and heavy cream. We're also gonna need some nutmeg to grate over the top for garnish. You could do shaved chocolate as well, that'd be good, but I do really like the, the nutmeg. I guess you could say the base is Galliano, but this is gonna be all equal parts. So it's really hard to say which the base is. You may have seen the larger bottles of this stuff. Uh, what I like about Galliano is you can buy it in small 375 milliliter bottles because I don't go through a lot of this and the larger bottles are really large. They're like this tall giant cones that will sit in the corner somewhere because they don't really fit on your back bar. They get all sticky. So I would recommend getting the smaller bottle unless you want the larger bottle. You could use it as a weapon. That thing's huge. I would, wish I had one actually, just so I could show you. Uh, the creme de cacao, I'm going with a white creme de cacao. It's got a really light vanilla-y milk chocolate flavor. And the cream, I've got heavy cream. This is gonna add richness, make it light and airy and fluffy. You could use half and half. And then of course, like I mentioned, the nutmeg on top. With that, let's build. Grab a shaking tin. We're gonna shake this drink up and we'll start with the Galliano. One ounce of Galliano to that, one ounce of your creme de cacao, and one ounce of cream. Pretty simple. Now we can add ice and shake. Give it a shake for about 15 seconds or so and double strain into your chilled cocktail glass. To finish this off, a little grated nutmeg right on top. And there we have the classic golden Cadillac. So, cheers. Mm, really tasty. It's sweet, chocolatey, vanilla up front, maybe a little like mint, like peppermint, and then like a licorice-y finish, maybe a little spice to get some of that nutmeg. There's a lot of flavor going on in this little drink and it's very rich. So you don't need it much bigger, but we are gonna make it bigger. I'm gonna set this off to the side. We are going to now make the milkshake version. <sighs> We have uh, a, a few things to touch on before we do this. So, of course, we're gonna stick with the uh, Galliano and the creme de cacao. Instead of the cream, we are going to add ice cream. I've got three scoops here. It's roughly 200 grams if you want to be specific. I, and I have a little half and half here. You could use milk. This is just to loosen it up a little bit. And we are going to top this off with whipped cream. I made a creme de cacao whipped cream. All it is is two cups of heavy cream, one tablespoon of powdered sugar and two ounces of creme de cacao. Whip that up in a whipped cream canister or you could mix it up in a mixing bowl. All right, so let's build again. If you're making this for more than one person, then you probably want to put this into a stand blender. But because I'm only making one, I'm going to pull out my trusty, what is this thing? This trusty stick. Immersion. Immersion, thank you, immersion blender. Okay, okay. Well, you know what, I'll, I'll talk about that later when, when it's time to bring that out. All right, so let's start with the ice cream. Right into your tin, three scoops of vanilla ice cream or non-dairy, it's up to you. Now we can go ahead and add the Galliano. I'm gonna bump this up to an ounce and a half because it's gonna be bigger. Match that with the creme de cacao, one and a half ounces, and then one ounce of half and half or milk. So here I add one more thing and that's just about a quarter of a cup of crushed ice. Now grab your handy dandy immersion blender and blend away. Careful not to make a mess of everything. This one has a lock on it so you gotta, here we go. Okay. Get her done. Maybe don't lick the end because it's a blade. And there we have a golden milkshake. <laughs> oh no, that sounds terrible. A golden Cadillac milkshake. And pour it right into whatever chilled glass you see fit. Look at that. Man, it's like I've done this before. Huh? Now we can add our fancy pantsy schmancy whipped cream. Grated nutmeg on top or shaved chocolate if you'd rather do that. Drop in a straw. There we have the Golden Cadillac Milkshake. The Scani Cadillac. Cheers. Mm. Mm. That is so good. That, um, I actually taste more of the Galliano in this one. I get more of that licorice -y flavor. Oz, would you like to try the milkshake version? Yes. There we go. Oh my God. It'd be great if you give it back to me empty. Grab a little bit with the whipped cream here. Yeah. 
Mm. All right. There it is. Is one better than the the other? Yeah. I mean, I really like the milkshake, but that's the, the inner kid in me saying milkshake, milkshake. But really, they're both very tasty, perfect for dessert. I love this time of year because I get to drink drinks like this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget your merch. Sign up for the newsletter. Thank you, Visky, for sponsoring today's film. Thank you for watching. Always appreciate your support. We'll see you next time. Cheers.